Hello to Apostle Sarah and to the church in Malaysia. Sema Sarah ne Malaysia ma shire atenno ko mingla ba lo jama nok sat chin ma re. And also to the church in Myanmar. Hello hello from Stephanie Herzog here and I am so honored and privileged to be speaking to you right now. Jama jama pi ga atenno ri ko le hello lo jama nok sat chin ma re. Jama ko khu lo myo Myanmar nai ngai ne pat tat pi ro kho phai pi wing nga khuin pi de twa chang athu be Jesus de ne. And I just want to say thank you for uh, inviting us to speak and to encourage the body of Christ. Jama ne jama ye khin bong ko khu lo myo kho phai pi ro Christo ye atenno ko a pi tai twa khuin pi de twa chang jama ro athu be Jesus de ma re. Jama ne jama ye khin bong ko khu lo myo kho phai pi ro Christo ye atenno ko a pi tai twa khuin pi de twa chang jama in Myanmar and Malaysia and we just want to let you know that Dave and I love you guys so much thank you for uh, having us at that time jamane ne yin u zong jamane david ha tenu ko ayan chit chang ko pyo pya jin ne jinom jama ro pi ge de chein no nga malaysia ko la de chein ma ayan ko pyo sia kaung mi chi ma de phya ye alo lo chin khan sa ya de chein ko pain sai khuin ya khe de in Malaysia it was such a blast uh, we saw god move and did all kinds of miracles and healings and just encouraging the body of christ we really love you guys and we keep you in our prayers tomorrow phyat ke alo lo de ya re phyat ke ana yo ga re nyin pe de ya pyaung le mu re mya zwa lo de ya re phyat ke an o pwe ya ni lan ni mya zwa ne alo lo da tomorrow min twe ya khe de so right now i just want to share with you Uh, what God has shown me for your church, for Myanmar, the body of Christ, our family there in Myanmar, and uh, I know it's been tough and it's been hard, and you're going through such um, um, hard times right now. Jema na le re tenu ha yen gu khe khe bi pe man ne kala de khu khu chay ma phet tan ni jaya ra phet de. But I just want to encourage you that. that God is with you you are not alone and i believe heaven jama a pe jin ne tin ha akhu chai ma te yaw the ma hop ba bu phaya khin ya tin ne atu shi ni de kaung kin tu khu long a tin no ne atu tu shi ni da phit ba de is with you and God is uh giving you supernatural strength and strategies to win the battles ahead phaya khin ga tin ko ta ba wa lo nyan pin nya ne ရှိမှာတိုက်ရမဲ့ဝိညာဉ်တိုက်ပွဲတွေကိုဘယ်လိုတိုက်ရမလေးဆိုတာဖွင့်ပြမှာဖြစ်တယ်အာအိုင်
a greater host of heaven. I believe the end time angels that are reserved solely for the last days. Are being released right now to the church in Myanmar, to the brothers and sisters in Myanmar. And I believe that those new angels, they're not just the angels we've had all this time. I believe these are the angels that are reserved for the end times. That they've been like in heaven, almost like they're on hold the whole time. And God says, okay, now you are released for the body of Christ in the end times. And they have such a high level of glory and power and weaponry. That is not seen or in any of the angelic beings. And I believe those angels are being released to you right now, and they are in your disposal. I believe that they will help you win battles that, are, that seem in the natural difficult. You may see, it may seem like you are greatly outnumbered and that there's many that are against you than they are for you, but I believe that you will win bat these battles ahead. Uh, I believe God will release the angels to go before you, to win the battle before you. So by the time you walk in, in the battle, it's already been won. And you just walk into it, what's already been accomplished, the victory that's already been paid for and has been prepared for you. And I believe God is releasing new weaponry to you guys, new weapons from heaven. And new strategies, and I believe uh, an increase of the supernatural is taking place. Uh, there will be more supernatural transportations because of the times you're living in and where you are at. Uh, where the enemy can, they will try to catch you and then boom, you'll be supernaturally transported from one place to another. You're already in, transported in another place. And I believe you will see more and more of that happening. And uh, just like with Elijah, in the Word, in the Old Testament, he was getting transported everywhere. 
เอเลียลูเวพยาเกงอ่ะเนาะดมะฮ้อมมาซวยตัวตะเนียอ่ะนี่ตะเนียอ่ะเปี่ยวตัวไปตัวพอเลยเนาะอเนียอะมุ้ม
That's enough when you're full of the Lord. That's enough to, for you to be able to withstand your enemy. You may in the natural look like you're outnumbered, but you have a huge host of heaven. Of armies, angelic armies that, uh, that are at your disposal. And this is the verse you will see its fulfillment where two can chase 10,000. Three can chase a hundred thousand. That's kind of what you're going to see happen in your area, in your nation. There's going to be shakings, but you will not be shaken in the shakings. You will see a demonstration of great exploits and great manifestations of the glory. Of the supernatural, where you can just walk by and thousands are dying by your side. All of a sudden, they are being raised from the dead and healings happening because of the increase of glory that's coming upon you. The word, is, the Lord is saying, do not fear what the enemy has planned for you. Do not fear for his plans are greater than whatever the enemy has, uh, has to destroy you. He will not succeed because you will have eyes to see, ears to hear ahead of time from heaven, and you will be 10 steps ahead of the enemy. But the key is to stay close to God right now. Stay close to Him, so close to where you are so one with Him and your union with God. Will cause you to become untouchable, will cause you to become immovable and unshakable. And I'm getting this verse for you um, in, in um, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. This is for you. It says, this is why the scriptures say, things never discovered or heard of before, things beyond our ability to imagine. These are the many things God has in store for all his lovers. And I believe your church, your people, they've been so precious. When we were in Malaysia, we got a taste of the kind of Christians you guys are. And I believe you guys are lovers of God. And I believe this, this scripture, you will see its fulfillment. 
ফেয়াগো ছেটে লুড়ে ফেটে চোমা মেয়ারে মালেশিয়া ও জমা রু লা রঙা ভালো ঠিরামা তেন ফেয়া ফেতলে ফেয়াগো ভালো ঠিরামা ছেতলে জমারু খেজা খেয়ারে তি জাগা তেন ফে পারে you begin to see and hear things you've never heard of before never seen before even beyond your ability to imagine those are the many things god has in store for you tin ko rai ma myin bu de de ya ri ma cha bu de de ya ri sei ku ne rao ma myin bu de de ya ri phit la bo yan twa phaya kin ya pyin san ni de and also uh in daniel Uh, chapter 11 verse 32 it says um th- that those who know their god shall be strong and carry out great exploits deepin daniela akhani satte ange 32 ma le mimi ro phaya ko ti do du ro mu ga ji swa do a ne pyu cha lei ni lo pyo de i believe this is for you but the key is know your god continue to know him in ways you've never known him before dijan sa ga to chet phit pa de di ka to chet ka ro phaya ta khin ko ti ba phaya ta khin ko bodu ma ma ti de pon san myo ne ti bo yan twa to lo de continue to draw closer to him amidst the trial stay in the joy of the lord phaya ta khin ye ana ma ni ba ခခင်းနေတဲ့အချိန်မှာပြင်လင်ဖုရားစခင်းရဲ့ဝမ်းမြောက်ခြင်းကတင့်အတွက်ခွန်အားဖြစ်လိမ့်မယ်ဒူန
has been uh, proven that you've stood against all kinds of warfare and yet you still love God. And praising God amidst all that. So like in James, it says in James chapter 1, um, the scripture says that, um, <laughs> James chapter 1, my fellow believers, when it seems as though you are facing nothing but difficulties, see it as an invaluable opportunity to experience the greatest joy that you can. For you know that when your faith is tested, it stirs up in you the power of endurance. And then as your endurance grows even stronger, it will release perfection into every part of your being until there is nothing missing and nothing lacking. ဒီကျန်းစာတွေမှာရာကုတ်အခန်းကြီးတက်အငယ်နှစ်သုံးမှာပြောထားသလိုပဲငါညီအကိုတို့သင်တို့ဤယုံကြည်ခြင်းကိ
ဖျားရေတာတမိတရောက်နေနဲ့ရေရှုနာမနိုင်ခမီးတော့ရှေ့မှောက်ကိုလာလို့ရတယ်ရေရှုရဲနာမကကျမတို့ကိုဖျားရ
and that's how they won many of the battles through the praise and worship alo nila apche itwe la luria type we ri mya swa ko nain khe ri tru ye chi mon ko kwe jin apche nain ne they were able to bring heaven down and win their battles and i believe that's one of the keys is the praise and worship the prophetic declaration and moving in miracle signs and wonders and have the authority akwe ana ne alo lo chin pyet de phaya de khin pe tha de akwe ana ne alo lo ba like using the authority god has given you and um communion god told me to mention that that as you take communion especially at the demonic places where there's a lot of demonic strongholds if you as a group you can uh take communion and even pour the communion elements in the ground we ro mingla ko win ma we ro mingla win jin ga le we di win yin tai pwe win jin ne la na ta khu phit de a pe jin ne we ro mingla win ne kha ma a chin jin no jma ro su pi ro ai ma pe phit phit su pi ro lout de a kha ma ko ye we ro mingla mou ne sa phit ye ko and dedicate that ground for Jesus for heaven for God ari niya ma su da ma di niya ha yeshu twa phit de yeshu bon no twa phit de so pi ro sat ka an na ma that will break the stronghold with, without having to face on bind the principality or bind this and that because many times that's not how God wants us to, to do it ari niya ma phaya de khin ye Wenyan tai pwei ri aw mian naw mian lei me tak kha tian ma jma ru wenyan tai pwei wen ne kha ma chi naw mi phae sha de pong san myo ne be wen sia ma lu ba bu phaya da khin ma ni lan a myo myo shi ye phaya da khin a thong pyu se chin ne ni lan ga tak kha tian ma a ri ni lan hou chin ma hou lei me uh i believe uh by just making an altar of heaven of god counters the evil altars and just with the communion with praise and worship and prophetic declaration i believe that is how we will, you will establish the kingdom of god the portals of heaven on the specific area dajam lo chi mon ko kwe jin prophet pyu chin jin nya pyo thok chin a phit akwe ana ko atong pyu jin a phit ai niya ma phaya da khin twa yip lin ko ti ba ဒီကမဖရားရဲ့ဘုံတော့ကထိုးနေရာမှာကျင်းဝတ်လာမှာဖြစ်တယ်အဲ့ဒီနီလန်အားဖြင့်ကျွန်မတို့ဖရားသခ
So in the natural, if it may seem like it's the opposite happening, like you feel like defeat is there, but God is saying, do not fear. Do not look in the natural for your breakthrough is near. Your breakthrough is near. Keep fighting. Keep praising me. Keep thanking me, keep prophesying, keep declaring what I'm saying and doing in heaven. And you will see the breakthrough. You will see the greatest breakthrough that, that you've never seen before. You're going to start seeing things that's never been done before. But you need to not be afraid to speak it out, even though it's something totally crazy. Speak it out. ตีนปะกะนี่ลอยะเมยากะเปียวถุบบาตะคะเตมาอริยากะจิเมซวนยูมายไลดาอาขัดจองๆนายเนลุเทยะเปเมเลเปียวถุบบาGod is giving you that word. Speak it out. Declare it with authority. In prayer, with prophetic declaration, and just say, Amen, God. Amen. I mean, I understand how it's going to happen, but Lord, I say, Amen to that. Amen to that. I, I totally come into agreement with whatever you are doing, God. You don't have to understand it. You don't have to know the why. You just have to obey and decree it and declare it and do it. And you're going to start seeing great things happen in your nation. In the leadership of your nation. I believe you can topple even governments and leaders in the city, like mayors and governors of towns and stuff, just by doing this, you're going to start seeing, but you have to be persistent. You have to be in unity. And you have to just be like a, a remnant, like a Gideon's army. You don't have to be a big number. It doesn't have to be that way. A small number can do great damage in the kingdom of God. God's mathematics is different than the world's. To him, one plus one is 10,000. It's not two. So I believe you will start seeing the small number of believers doing great exploits, doing the greater works, doing multiplied damage to the enemy. And you're going to start seeing a huge harvest. You're going to see harvest from the lowly, lowly people. To where they don't even know they exist. They're like the bumps in the street, the homeless people, to the government people. 
High-level people, you're going to start seeing their salvation. So you need to start including them in prayer. The movers and the shakers of your town, of your cities, of your nation, start praying for their salvation. Start praying for deliverance over them, Lord. Deliver them from darkness, God. Transfer them from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of your son, Jesus, of light. And you start seeing and intercede for their salvation and you're going to start seeing their lives uh, totally changed, changed and impacted for the kingdom. You're going to see this great harvest and I'm so excited. God bless you. We love you. David and I love you so much. And we bless you, Apostle Sarah, your church, and Myanmar, and in Malaysia. We love you. God bless you.